All right, the repair we're going to try here is you can see the tire ran up against a loose wheel well cover. It came loose there, hit the tire, wore through. So this is a pretty thin plastic. And uh, I figure I've never done this before, but I figure this uh, garden bucket from Home Depot, it's not as thin, but it's thin. So I'm gonna cut that, try and uh, get it the right shape, and we're gonna rivet it on, see how that works. As you can see, this is really flexible, and it's a bit thicker than the stuff that's uh, used in the car, but this should fit pretty well and hold up to impacts from rocks or whatever. Okay, so I cut it the right shape. I drilled some holes around the edge. Took the tire off because it was a lot easier to access. And I could reach it with the tire turned, but I couldn't get the tools in. So I'll start with one corner, secure it, and then it'll get easier and easier to do the rest without it moving around. Poked a little hole, shove a rivet in the tool, shove it through the first hole I drilled, and then shove it through the plastic. go and it's riveted on. <clears throat> I'll do several more. Here's the finished product. It's on pretty well. I really don't think I'm gonna have an issue with this uh, coming off at all. If uh, you're going to try this and you still need to satisfy some vanity, I guess you could spray paint the whole thing with a matte black if you want to not uh, see those rivets, but it kind of gives it an aircraft feel. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that's helped you. You can get one of those um, container pots at any nursery or Home Depot probably for free. It's just the, the ones that come with the plant. So if you went there and asked, it probably wouldn't even charge you they throw those out so the parts are nothing and then you just get a few rivets in there so anyway worked pretty well hope that helped